actually out here the day before you go to market. Could you give us a rundown on the time frame of loading up, setting up, selling to customers, and then breaking down? We load the truck the day before. And the reason is, is that because of the production schedule here, um, it would be, it just wouldn't work if we had to load up the day of the farmer's market. The markets start at three during the week. They start at nine or 10 in the morning on the weekends. So mm. It takes a couple hours to set up. So we need to have everything iced and ready to go the day before. It takes us almost two hours to set up. Uh -huh. So if a market starts at three, we get there at one o'clock, unload everything, get the tent set up, uh, the markets run anywhere from four to five hours, depending on which one. Mm -hmm. And it, it usually takes about another hour to pack up at the end of the market. So it's a full day. Long day. Yeah. In the greater Seattle area, Bill, how many markets do you do? And I'd love to know some of the nuances of the differences between your markets. Well, Seattle has become a farmer's market city. Uh, in the greater Seattle area, there's probably I would say 70 farmers markets wow. and that's all around the you know the suburbs um, because of what we're selling we're selling basically live animals uh, we have to be at the big markets mm -hmm. so I do the four major markets in the Seattle area I do the University District which is the highest uh, sales market in the state mm -hmm. uh, I do Ballard in, in the neighborhood of Ballard which is on Sunday on Thursday I'm over on the east side of Lake Washington in Bellevue and then on Wednesdays, I do a market in Snohomish County in Muckleteo. Why is it important to be at markets for you all? Well, Taylor's a big company, and um, we have a large export uh, division. We, we ship a lot of shellfish overseas, uh, but we really wanted to try to promote our shellfish to the local Seattle market and to the public. Uh, there are so many people that go out to restaurants, and they have oysters, clams, or mussels in restaurants, but they don't know how to prepare them at home. So we educate the public, we teach them proper handling, uh, we are dealing with, with uh, a perishable product, animals are still alive, uh, they have to be handled properly, stored properly if they're not going to be cooked that same day, and we do that. We, we teach them how to prepare the shellfish at home. So you're doing a lot of customer education yes. while you're marketing. And you know with, with oysters especially there's been this huge renaissance in the last 10 or 15 years of, of uh, oysters and, and it's almost like wines now. People want to know where the oysters are from, how they're grown, the species of the oysters. You know 30 years ago when you went to a restaurant in Seattle you got oysters and that was it. Uh, oysters on the half shell. There was no mention of where they were from or, uh -huh. or how they were grown. But um, people want to know that now and that's also part of what we do. We do promotional events teaching and educating about shellfish. When we see you at market, how will you be enticing the customer in? How do you, how, what's that marketing well, piece that you do? I, I, I tell people that I can tell by the look in their eye. They have that, <laughs> that oyster look in their eye. And uh, I've got a lot of regular customers, and um, they they come up to me, and because we're the only shellfish farm out there, uh, some people have never thought about buying shellfish at a farmers market. Mm. Uh, we are a farm, so we we fit in right with the farmers markets. And uh, I've got repeat customers every week that come back. Uh, I've got people that pre-order if they want a large amount, they'll order ahead of time. But I love to talk to people. Um, I'm, I'm out there and, and uh, they know me and I know my customers. And, and you're selling shucked product as well as product in the shell? Yeah, there are, there are some people that, that want to make pan fried oysters or stir fry or saute. Um, they can buy the shucked oysters in the jars. Uh, there's some older people that don't want to have to shuck oysters and they'll, they love fried oysters. so. We sell oysters uh, shucked as well as in the shell. You even sell oyster knives, we don't you? We sell oyster you? knives to make sure that everybody knows how to uh, shuck an oyster. I give oyster lessons, shucking lessons. And, uh, you know, people have used screwdrivers and beer can openers. And once they buy an oyster knife, they, they, they realize They never that, go back. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> That's great. I have customers that uh, range from young college kids. They want to have an oyster barbecue. Uh, there's one guy that comes to the Ballard Farmer's Market with his little tray and his ice and I give him a dozen oysters and he takes his girlfriend down to the water and they sit and have a little picnic with some wine on the beach. I have uh, a lot of college professors that come by and buy oysters for, for dinner parties that they're having or mussels or clams. Uh, 
uh, older folks that want to want to have a pan fried oyster roast. You have They're a lot of over. chefs too, yes. don't you? Chefs come to the market. Uh, in Ballard, uh, it's funny that uh, my stall seems to be the gathering spot for, for a lot of the chefs that come to the farmer's market. It, it is the place to hang out yeah. in Seattle. Mm -hmm.